Alrighty guys, welcome to... Felt, you know, same thing as a lot of other time, you know? You felt well, listening now? It... Two beers. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, today we're drinking... Uh, tonight we ride? Tonight we ride! Eddie Nine. True. Um, Imperial IPA or double IPA, depending on however you want to say it, because there's no difference. Oh. Little eight percenter. Yeah. Um, has some what I presume to be New Zealand hops because I don't know how to say them. Sure. And they look like New Zealand hop names. How does it? How does the Amarillo? I didn't read. It. I didn't read anything. I literally was like, Todd, what did he get? Yeah, I'll have that. Yeah. So. Showed up late. I mean. Yeah. Showed up late. Like five minutes late. Like ten minutes. No, it's. It's 12 now, it and I've, like, I've been here a lot longer than two minutes. It takes like two minutes to set up the camera. No, it's, it's been, been about it's five been minutes now. here, so it was probably Ten. like seven minutes late. Eight. Seven and a half. Eight. Eight. My, that's my final offer. I'm saying 7.45. Um, anyways, the risk of a double IPA, uh, if you've watched our podcast before, that we typically talk about is they tend to be heavier, more syrupy. Now, this is 8%, so it's really not that much like when especially when you get it to like the nine and a half ten percent that's where you really get syrup yeah pure just maple syrup yeah i mean not maple like orange syrup and sure I just texture wise you know. yeah sure kind of coats your mouth this uh doesn't really have that effect to me right now no yeah right now i'm with you thankfully i was worried about that um it's pretty nice. It, it's kind of just like a, like a thicker. I don't know. It's like a, it's like somewhere between a hazy and a West Coast. Like it's not, it's not like a milkshake. I don't know. Yeah, and it's got that like, it's got a very orange soda texture. Yeah. Like right when it hits you, because it's pretty well carbonated, and the first notes are orange, but then it follows up with more like a heavier, robust beery body with like some malts and grains kind of in there not not detracting too much from the orange but it's pretty bitter at the end it is yeah the bitterness it helps a lot i mean if it wasn't if there was like not as much bitterness it legitimately would just taste like orange soda yeah true <laughs> it's, it's, you you really uh nailed that one i mean it is just an orange soda beer uh i don't even have no logo in this glass i'm surprised that it's actually like Somewhat clear. Yeah, you can you can see shades on the other end of it. Yeah, know? like normally, like imperials that are kind of hazy. It's like bright yellow. <sighs> right, right, right. But yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting one. Yeah, I like it. I think by the time I'm done with this, I'm gonna be like, yep, I think I'm good. Yeah, you're probably good with one. Yeah, but like the one that you have, you're gonna enjoy. Not mad about it for sure. I agree. So. All right. What are you gonna rate it? Um, I'm gonna go B. Okay. I think for a double IPA, it sits nicely. It's not too heavy. Um, I'm sure, like you said, being eight percent compared to like a nine, ten, eleven, like it that adds to that a lot. Um, but it's good. It's uh, it's got enough bitterness to it to where it's not overly sweet. But yeah, by the time I'm done with one of it, it's I'm gonna be done. You know, comparing this to like the uh, Joy by, this is really distracting. I can't just like not sing right now. But I, I can't sing right now. <laughs> um, like the Joy by 1031. I kind of compare this to. I mean, they're both double IPAs. Sure. Um, they're clearly like had two different goals for the for each beer. Yeah. Um, but, but you know, aside from that, like just on the standard of a double IPA, like that's what I would lean more towards. Whereas this one probably falls a little bit on the sweeter end. And um, the orange, it's almost like a I don't know, just a sugary orange. So it's not my favorite. It's got some things it could improve on, but it's good. To me, it's like an A minus. I really okay. like this style of double IPAs because yeah. um, I have a lot of good associations with it. With them, uh, these double IPAs, especially like I said, like the nine and a half, ten percenters. You get a growler or a six pack of these, yeah. and you they go down a little too easy, and you're having a really good time really quick. 
very quick. Yep. And that's how this, like if it was a little later at night, like at 6 p.m. and you came to E9 for this sure. and you had two or three, sure. you're you're feeling good. Absolutely. With, with a good pizza, like I, don't, I, think, I think you're gonna have a good time oh, if you get this beer. So recommend it. Absolutely. And uh, let us know if you grab it and what you thought. Yeah. Well, you'd write. Yeah. Other than that, see you next week. Later, guys. Great. I look so.